The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells. Today we are on chapter number twenty, and as you can see, chapter number twenty is also going to be divided into part one and part two. And here we have uh, the part one of this chapter at the house in Great Portland Street. This chapter is a continuity of the previous chapter where. uh the invisible man is telling the history of his experimentation and how he came to this pass how he came to become the actual invisible man and the characters in this chapter are going to be the very two characters we've had before dr kemp and griffin uh when we do this chapter i would like to mention that when we do chapter number 20 uh we have to take into account what had happened in chapter 19 and later on this goes up till chapter number 23 so from chapter number 19 till chapter number 23 we have the account of the experimentation that the invisible man had done in order to become invisible it would also give us a look into his character and his history what kind of a person was he what did he go through and things like that that you need to know just in order to know the character of a person and of course the detail of all the experimentation that he did and how he became successful so this starts from chapter number 19 and goes up to chapter number 23 this is like a background of the invisible man so in the last chapter he had told us the scientific details of his experiment and also he had told us how he had stolen from his father because of which he uh, his